as we were discussing about the relationship to non-relationship status. So uh, if we have a look into this, uh, something is very important, something important could be seen over here that uh, corresponding to the relationship status you have the response 0 and 1 and for the relationship status 1 you have the response 0 1 uh, category. Now you would see that the percentage, uh, I mean the bad percentage is much higher for the relationship segment. So we had seen the relationship segment was much higher and as such uh, we see that uh, this is proportional to the so the, or like in the relationship segment, uh, most of the customers have been bad for some reason or the other. Now, uh, also in the, in the non-relationship segment, if you have a look into this non-relationship segment, somehow uh, the greater average holding lies with the more risky segment, no matter in whatever way we look at it. So this again helps us justify the fact that so this helps us justify the fact that there has been some kind of an error or there has been some kind of a limitation in the previous lending strategies. So either there was no scorecard which actually guided it and even if there was some kind of a scorecard that was not sufficient to uh, do the necessary prediction. So there was an error and that is why we need the new application scorecard, we need to design the next application scorecard which will actually help us form an idea about the overall behavior of the, like which will actually help us identify overall behavior of the, the customers, right. So, so there might have been very changing matrices which uh, which have rendered the previous application scorecard useless and so on. So we need to uh, work towards that. So this is uh, another important portfolio metric that we had worked out. Uh, after this I think there are a couple of them left over for us to discuss. Uh, the average duration of a loan in the portfolio. So what has been the average time for which the loan has been lent out. Though even though this is not a very, uh, you know, this is not a very important thing to look into. However, we just uh, look into the duration to have an idea about what has been the span of the loan. So we could from the, based on that we could as well create out of say a category, we could create out categorical variables and we could uh, say by looking into the month, the number of months for which the loan is given, we could actually create out some kind of a categorical variable and code them into categories and get the entire data set uh, reduced into a categorical form rather than having some kind of numerical and a mix of numerical categorical variables we could well convert all of them into categorical variables and from there we could actually take up our model development exercise. Right, so uh, that is, uh, so that would be the next uh, step that we would take up that is uh, designing, uh, so Basically, we have done, uh, we have completed major steps that we were uh, of, of the model development exercise. So, we now have a more or less idea about how the data set looks like, what are the important variables, uh, what are the uh, different limitations. We have done kind of a scope analysis of this scorecard, of the scorecard development process. We have worked out uh, a kind of a portfolio analysis which has actually given us an overview of what the portfolio is like and what are the limitations of the current prediction or the acquisition strategies. So the next thing that we do tomorrow is we would start off with the kind of our data quality check. So in that data quality check our first step that we would do is we would convert the different numerical variables. We can either keep the numerical variables or at least we would convert them into categorical variables and have a look of the frequency distribution, how are the frequency distribution like and all. So is everything in sync or uh, not? 
but this data set does not have any kind of missing observation issues or other data. So we would move into the variable, we would directly move into the variable selection procedure tomorrow. From there, uh, once the variable selection procedure is completed, we would look into uh, the variable transfer, variable creation and transformation. From there, we would look into the model development perspective. Right? So this would be the way forward. So I believe within next week we should be completed with developing this. Uh, we should be completed with the end to end development of the scorecard, right? Along with all the interpretations and the documentation. So after this, we would develop. Uh, we would go towards. No, I don't think not next week because uh, once we are running the logistic regression part, that is where uh, we need to have we will be taking up some amount of time because we need to discuss testing procedures and stuff. So that would take up some time. But yes, so as far as the pre-model development step is concerned, I think we would be, uh, we are good to go tomorrow. Right, so uh, tomorrow by tomorrow I'll complete that uh, model selection part. I'll try to do it, the variable selection and transformation part of it. From there what we would do is, we would take up logistic integration, we understand what it is. We would be talking about statistical testing procedures and uh, regression testing procedures and from there on we will take up the model development exercise. Right, so uh, let's stop here up, uh, by today. So I send over this uh, editor window to you guys. Just go through it. Along with this editor window I am also attaching a I am also attaching a editor window or a, a document which will contain uh, will con this will contain statistical information so a notepad or documented with statistical information statistical theorizations you can actually go through them you can look into the how the data sets are being created what are the statistical techniques just go through it uh, then I'll take it up and we'll gra and I'll start gradually explaining one technique after the other as we move forward. Uh, so, but uh, up to tomorrow what we need to do is we need to complete the variable selection process and the variable transformation. So, uh, just uh, review the notepad that I had circulated right at the beginning. So, the notepad that where we document the initial sections and uh, this part up to where we have done. So, tomorrow we will start working with the next part that is we will start working with our uh, variable transformation and variable selection. Variable transformation. Uh, so we'll talk about something called information value. We'll talk about something called weight of evidence. We will sort of talk about something called uh, mean difference tests and stuff like that. So we'll come to that. Right. So we'll. Uh, so there is a variable selection process that is also mentioned in the notepad as well. So please go through that. Right. Okay. Uh, thank you for today. Uh, so I'll just send over the uh, editor windows and then.